Hi guys, welcome back. Really excited about this one, the Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Triple camera. I'm sure you've all seen pictures and videos over the last uh, couple of weeks. I have the black version. You can get Twilight and Emerald Green. This is 128 gigabytes of ROM and six gigabytes of RAM. Let's open it up. So this is a flagship smartphone with a flagship price. It's around 899. We have a little pull tab. Pull the smartphone out. Oh, put that to one side for a moment. SIM tray ejector tool. And a manual. No case. So we have the huge fast charging block from Huawei. It even says on there the Max 40 watt supercharge charger. Now supposedly this is supposed to be very, very fast, which I will be putting to the test. We have USB type C charging cable. We also have USB type C earphones, which is great. What else is this? Oh, you also get an adapter. USB type C to 3.5 mm socket. Cool. Let's have a look at the phone itself. It is all glass and this feels incredible. It's really, really cold at the moment. So, flick it around on the back. Let's take this off. This is a premium, premium device. Wow, look at that. So there are the triple cameras there with the flashlight. Main camera is 40 megapixel. That is a wide angled lens. You also get a 20 megapixel ultra wide angled lens and an eight megapixel telephoto lens. Three lenses all do different things. It is wireless charging and you can charge other phones. Unfortunately, I don't have a phone here to test that at the moment. Come along to the side, power button and volume rocker. They've gone for a different colored power button, uh, just like they have on the Pixel. Along the top there, looks like it's got an IR blaster and microphone. The left-hand side is completely clear. And at the bottom, USB type C and SIM tray. That can house one nano SIM, so there's no expandable storage, but you get 128 gig anyway. So incredible design, front facing camera there, you can just see uh, with the earpiece as well. Um, holding it and looking at it, it's very, very similar to a Galaxy, Samsung Galaxy smartphone, the build, rounded um, edges. So let's turn it on. Huawei. Okay, I'm gonna set this up. I'll be back in a moment. Hey guys, I'm back and look at this. Absolutely incredible. This OLED display, 2K 3120 by 1440 pixels. Truly is stunning. So, so set up the fingerprint sensor and it's obviously it's on screen as well. You just get a matter of getting used to where the where you need to place your thumb. So it's a little bit lower than that. It's quite fast once you know where it is and you've got it set up. I've also set up face ID unlock as well. And there are quite a few options to set in there as well. You can slide to unlock or you can have direct unlocked as soon as you uh, look at the camera. So let's have a look. Wow, that's pretty quick. That's very quick actually. A lot quicker than the uh, fingerprint sensor. Oh, didn't recognize me then. Let's try again. There we go. Turn it away a little bit. There you go. 
Got some beauty. Oh, that caught me then. It is 3D as well, so it's not um, it's not cheap face ID technology. Uh, it does ask you for different angles of your face when it's capturing the uh, the data. And you can turn it back to slide to unlock. That's what it was on originally. So there you go, slide to open. Uh, but there's some beautiful wallpapers on here which you can just um, swipe through. Absolutely stunning. And um, oh, look at that. And the slide to unlock. Super. So Face ID is very, very secure, especially with it being 3D. I think the Face ID is quicker than finger unlock, the finger sensor, because pretty difficult to find the exact area to press. Anyway, so settings, this is Android 9. So it is the latest uh, software version. So it's running on EMUI 9. Currently no updates available at the moment. So let's jump into this camera, shall we? Have a quick look at that. Okay, so at the moment it is in AI mode. So I'm gonna keep it on that at the moment. Okay, here we go. Lovely. Let's switch to portrait mode. Let's put some background in there behind it so we can see. Uh, no face is detected, so it's got face recognition, and you can see uh, the portrait mode working already. Snap. Aperture. Taking wide aperture photos can produce images with shallow depth of field. Wow, look at that. Let's change the aperture. All the way up to 13. All the way, oh, all the way down to 1.2. So keep it at that aperture shot. Cool. So here are some of the video settings. It does shoot at 4K, ultra high definition. I'm going to shoot this uh, 1080p at 60 frames per second. Let's have a look. There is definitely stabilization there. Okay, so let's shoot this video. Right, shooting video now on the Mate 20 Pro, 60 frames per second, 1080p. Cool. Let me know what you guys think. Looking really, really sharp and crisp on here. Let me know the sound quality as well. I'm going to switch to the front facing camera and it's locked onto my face, which is good. 1080p front facing camera. Let's do a video of that, shall we? Go. Okay, AI HDR mode on the Mate 20 Pro, the front facing camera. Looks absolutely sharp and crisp. I uh, wonder what the sound quality is like as well, the microphone. Yeah, the detail is quite insane. Camera. Okay. Well, I'm gonna try portrait mode now on the Mate 20 Pro. Selfie. Oh. It's quite incredible. Okay, so a normal photo. Okay, so that was a quick camera test on the Mate 20 Pro. Very impressive. Got some great little settings in there to play around with, which I will be before my review. Let's open up YouTube. 1080p, 60 frames, HDR. Hopefully, internet is good enough for that. Zoom to fill. Looks so much better. Look at that beautiful screen.
That is incredible, guys. OLED display, 2K resolution, and rubbish internet. God, that's so great. Can't wait to stop playing games on this. Beautiful. Rounded edges, like you can just see the display bending round. Oh. Best display I've seen on a smartphone. Without a doubt. Okay, some music test now, royalty free music. Now this is dual speaker. They've incorporated the speaker into the USB type C connector. This phone is also IP68 rated, so it is waterproof. So dual speakers, USB type C, and then the earpiece at the top. And they're both kicking out the same frequencies, so it's a proper dual speaker setup. That sounds so rich and warm. Wow. That is incredible. You can hear the kicks kicking um, nicely on that track. Um, good range of frequencies on this loudspeaker. Absolutely incredible. What do you expect from a flagship smartphone there, really? So it's got the notch at the top. Not many people like the notch. There are some settings here, and we can hide it if you want. But I prefer the notch. So you can hide it if you want to but I'm not gonna bother on mine. So this is a smartphone, guys, that has everything. It has NFC, has wireless charging. You can charge other devices with it as well, which is incredible. Really, really incredible. It has three lenses, three camera lenses, all doing different things. Wide angle, ultra wide angle, and a telephoto lens as well. Pictures and videos are quite amazing. I thought it struggled to focus a couple of times though on, uh, on the video. Maybe it could be optimized in an update or something like that. It is an absolute stunning smartphone. Very small bezels at the bottom. Hardly any bezels at the edge, really. Pretty much bezel-less. It curves around on the side. Um, also, um, when you swipe down, the search setting comes up. I don't really like that. I like swiping down with the with this coming down. Unfortunately, you don't get that. Swiping up does nothing. You've got no app drawer, so you've got all your apps here. You've got Google now as well from the left, if you swipe from the left. Obviously, being Huawei, you do get some of the Huawei built-in apps, uh, app gallery, um, health, and a few other things as well. Oh, you've got a smart remote there, which is good. Backup app, closer look. If it stays focused at the May 20 Pro display. Stunning display. Incredible. I'm going to go ahead and install some games. Obviously, PUBG Mobile. And I'll download Fortnite. So we'll do a We'll do a gaming video on the Mate 20 Pro. 
go download some games now and store, have a good old test. Really test that camera in further detail as well because there's so much settings to go through there. I couldn't really um, cover a lot, unfortunately. But it does look very, very good. Right, guys, thanks for watching. Any questions, please comment below. If there's anything that you want to see or you want me to cover in the review or any next video that I do on this smartphone, then please let me know. I'm going to go away now and enjoy this beauty. But until then, I'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.